2013 on a private visit, but many of the London UP members stormed my hotel room at different times to discuss the protracted scrubbers in London about your last council elections. It's pertinent to note that since I took over as president of UPPU in December 2010, Pertinent to know that since I took over as president of UPU in December 2010, I have been involved in different peace moves to try bringing peace to the branch of UPU in London. At a time, I broke up peace between Chief Paula Pofure and Chief Agogovia, which resulted in Chief Agogovia stepping aside for Chief Pofure as the president of UP in UK which lasted up to 2012, when elections were held, only to be told that the elections were fought with irregularities. I observed that right from the time of Chief Benjamin Okumaba, through the time of Oloruku Ferenc Ibu as past President General of UPU, the London branch had been encountering various problems. I have observed that UP in London is hardly politicized by, by politics, and therefore each of the fractions have different agenda. In fact, they've gone to the length that it's no more Urubu agenda, but it's now clannish agenda. The purpose of UPU in UK is to create a platform for Urubu people to interact with each other, help and support each other in a foreign land far away from home and share news about what is happening back home in Nigeria. It is therefore very disappointing to observe that those of you living in a mature democracy and developed economy should fail to set standards of civilized behavior for others to emulate or copy from. During my earlier mentioned private visit to London, I supported a led executive to resign and then appointed the chairman board of trustees as interim chairman, supported by the various clan chairmen to organize a free and fair elections to bring an end to these troubles and bring peace to UPU in the UK. I agree with the two warring factions that election will hold, which is today, 25th of August, 2013. I also personally, I also promise to personally come along with other UP members to observe the election and swear in the winners as the new executive to bring an end to all the scores in the UK branch. So we are here today and have conducted free and fair elections and have sworn in members of the UK, uh, UPU in UK, under one leadership. 
I therefore sincerely appeal to everyone here today to cooperate with the new executive and let us prove to the outside world that we are capable of resolving our differences as people of the same ethnic group. I let me here salute Chief Felix Wanogo, alias Lead Copper, and his, and his team for a job well done. Some of you might have received test messages sent in May 2013 from some shameless divisionary group alleging that I, Chief General Patrick Newton Aziza, retired, CFRMNI, have resigned as President General of our Union. This group went ahead to publish in Gandhian newspapers of the 11th May 2013, page 4 to be precise, that my first deputy have taken over as the new President General of our Union. The incident that led to these speculations happened in the evening and less than eight hours later that first publication came out the following morning. There was no truth in the allegation, but it turned out to be a well-planned but shabbily executed civilian coup that have failed. <laughs> This unprotective group under, underrated my capa capacity as a trained but retired soldier and general of the Nigerian oh, Army. Yeah. Yeah. You must also have read in the internet about how I handled that uprising, orchestrated by the voting ambitions of an individual to divide the robo people further. However, I'm glad to tell you that since the unfortunate incident, the Robo Progress Union have moved on and is worsening stronger, breaking new grounds in our quest to reposition the Robo people in Nigerian politics. I therefore would like to use this opportunity to thank all of those who phoned from UK to express solidarity with my leadership and my team during this brief crisis. I would like, I would also like to assure you that as a soldier. I never ran away from the war fronts, and therefore, Daddy, I, Daddy, I know what you. and therefore, I can never run away from the challenges yes. posed to my leadership in the course of discharging my duties on behalf of the people, no matter how yes. tough the going may be. In a way, the incident allowed me to get the feelings of my people was my style of leadership and how much my service to the rebel nation was being perceived and appreciated. I am now quite proud to say I am satisfied and encouraged by the reaction from many well-meaning rebel sons and daughters all over the world from this failed civilian coup incident. As a father, and the leader of Robo Nations, as conferred on me by the union mandate, I have forgiven those involved in this coup, okay. but I am now a wiser man. Yes. This is a lesson for the new ESCO, learn to forgive, embrace those people, bring them back, their prodigal sons, bring them back. Uh, the visit to Arewa. Arewa is a northern group. The Robo Nation have been so seriously marginalized by the federal government headed by a president from the South South region. Despite the fact that the Robo people gave Mr. President massive votes to contribute to his winning the 2011 elections. However, we felt that we have not been treated fairly and therefore, the robo leadership decided to go back to the drawing board. We strategized on how the robo people can become relevant again in the Nigerian nation and came to the conclusion that we need to make the robo nation, the fifth largest ethnic group in Nigeria, to be better understood. We quickly agreed that there was the need to cultivate new friends from all parts of the Federation in order to survive. We 
We therefore took a strategic decision to stretch hands of friendship to the three major ethnic groups in the Federation, starting with Arewa group from the north. These are the people who speak for the northern people. Afeni Feri group, those who speak for the Yoruba people, and the Ohane Zen people, those who speak for the Igbo people. We also plan to later engage all our neighboring ethnic groups to promote better understanding, good neighborliness, and mutual respect. Our consultative visit to the Arewa group can be described as very successful because it sends the right signal to the federal government that the robo ethnic group is too important to be ignored in Nigeria. Since then, the federal government have opened line of communication with the Robo Progress Union, and we hope this new romance will translate to the full integration of the Robo ethnic group into the mainstream of Nigerian politics. The death of Chief Senator Pius Ewerimu, the sudden death of our dear Senator threw the whole Robo nation into mourning. The sad event occurred Sunday, 3rd of July, 2009, at 13 at Abuja. Chief Senator Pius Akpo Ewerido has served the Delta Central Senatorial District with passion, commitment, and avert determination to lead the Robo people out of the political wilderness that some of all our unscrupulous politicians have led us into. It is on record that he was the only Robo politician to date that ever come home to give account of his services to the people who elected him. He did this in style when he gathered the Robo people at the Robo Conference Center at Yamuge to address them on his midterm stewardship to the Robo electorate. It is also on record that he is the only Robo politician that has given over 180 scholarships to indigenous indigent Urobo students in tertiary institutions. He made Urobo people the center of his activities at the Abuja. His services and contribution were well recognized by all, and hence the Urobo Progress Union decided to honor him with a validatory section at the Robo Conference Center Yamuge on the 18th of July. He was the second person in the history of the Robo Union that has ever been accorded such recognition and honor. The senatorial position of Delta Center is now unfortunately vacant, and over 16 candidates are now crisscrossing the length and breadth of the Delta Central Senatorial District, converting for support to enable one of them to go to Abuja to represent the Robo people at the Senate. The Robo Progress Union is waiting patiently for INEC to formally declare the senatorial position open. Our visit to Mr. President at Asorok on the 22nd of July 2013, I, the President General of UPU, led some 30 selected Robo indigenous, including six traditional rulers to Abuja for a visit to Asoro. The group interacted face to face with Mr. President, Dr. Goodluck in Belegun, Jonathan, and some of his ministers. The visit gave the UPU President General, which is made the opportunity to complain openly to Mr. President, Mr. Um, Dr. Goodluck in Belegun, Jonathan, about the deliberate marginalization of the Rogo people in appointments and sharing developmental projects. Despite the, the fact that the Robo people voted MS for him to contribute to VT at the pool in 2011 to become the, the President of the Federal Republic. I gave him a shopping list of our needs based on which his ministers were asked to brief UPU delegation on their plans to tackle these complaints and need. This visit was made possible by an official connection of us to Asoro after months of delay during which period several letters of request from UP have been sent to Asoro seeking audience with Mr. President. It is suspected 
that an unknown group was deliberately blocking the robo people from having an access to the president. We are hopeful that this visit to Asorok will begin to yield results to the robo people very soon. Orobo Conference Center at Yamogi. The finishing work on the building is progress, progressing steadily. However, the progress has been hampered and slowed by lack of availability of funds. Despite this setback, we are satisfied with the slow and steady progress we are making on the building. I hope the UP, UPU branch in the UK will soon make substantive contribution oh, yeah. towards this project to help us complete the building as a standard we can all be proud of. Government handover of Robo College. This college, if you remember, was established by our founding fathers in 1948 as a school to encourage Robo persons to have easy access to Western education. The school has over the years produced many eminent persons for the Robo nation. However, in 1972, the Bender State Government under the Bromodia then forcefully took over private schools in Bender, which included the Robo College. The Robo people, however, observed that the college was being rolled down and neglected as a deliberate ploy by successive governments to make the college irrelevant in the Delta State educational system. When recently the Delta State Government decided to hand over, uh, hand back private schools to the owners, the UPU applied to get back its college. In 19, in, sorry, in 2012, the Delta State Government formally handed over the management and running Robo College to UPU. Part of the school land had been sold to outsiders and some teachers' quarters rented out to people that are not staff of the school. The classroom and hostel buildings are in very deplorable uh, states. Teachers are more than the students in school. So the school was handed back to UPU with plenty of problems. It is therefore a big challenge to UPU and the Robo people to strive to keep the legacies of our forefathers. At the moment, the Old Board Association of Robo College, the UPU and Delta State Government are engaged in serious discussions in attempt to get the government to rebuild the infrastructures in the college and bring the college back to the state and standard it was before the government took over the college and also take over the payment of the salaries of, teacher, salaries of teachers and workers. UPU promoting patriotism and understanding between the robo people. We plan to resume our communication with the various professional groups and segments of the robo society in order to promote patriotism within our people. We shall continue our consultation with other ethnic nationalities to improve the understanding of our people and cultivate new friendships in order to position the robo people in Nigerian politics. December election. In December 2013, that is the end of this year, a new UP executive shall be elected to run the affair of the Union for another three years in compliance with the UPU constitutional requirements. I have, however, been persuaded by many to offer myself once more for the service of our Union. I am told we are making progress and the Robo Nation is gradually moving out of the political wilderness. I want to assure you that despite I want to assure you that despite the fact that job of President General of our Union is a non-paying job, I am however prepared to lead the Robo Union out of Egypt to the promised land. Yes. Like Moses or Joshua of the Old Testament in the Holy Bible. Yes. Therefore, I will contest in December 2013 for the position of presidential, presidential general once, once more, as allowed by the UPU constitution, and if the Robo people are satisfied with my leadership, I still want to serve, I, I, want, I want me to serve by voting for me, I can assure you that the 
team for next UPU executive will be more pragmatic, more commitment, more committed, and will certainly restore the robo nation to its place of pride, both in Delta State and in Nigeria. I salute all of you for your patience. And please, I still beg that stretch your hands for fellowship and embrace our colleagues that have been misled. Bring them, bring them back to the fold. I promise you, if you can do that, even within the next three months, I'll be here to come here to embrace all of them. Yes. Uh, vote for you anytime. Urobo Obogo. Long live Urobo nations. Long live Delta State. Long live Nigeria. Long live the United Kingdom. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm going to be President General.